Hey guys, Jarek here. Welcome to my gun guide for the H car. The H car is a cop specific battle rifle that can be purchased at the beginning of the game for $37,200. This high price does not match the quality and performance of this weapon. The actual H car away from video games in real life form is essentially a modern recreation of the bar. The bar is a classic weapon, everyone knows what it is, everyone likes it, so modernizing it kind of makes sense since the bar is so heavy, they made it mostly polymer, they made it lighter, they made it recoil less, in general they made it work better, but I was turned off by one thing. It does not use bar magazines, it uses H-car specific magazines that hold 30 rounds, which is nice, but when you have so many bar magazines, why can't you just let it work with the bar mags? Now I have to buy your stupid specific magazines and I don't like that idea. But needless to say, I was interested in the weapon, and unfortunately, it's a pile of crap in game. Let me go ahead and show you why. Looking at the stats, the max damage is 43, minimum damage is 25, damage drop off start is 20 meters, drop off end is 50 meters. This is identical to every other battle rifle in the game. Where you start running into problems is the 450 rounds per minute fire rate. That is abysmal, that is terrible. You need to be perfect with this gun, and even if you are sometimes, you will not win that firefight. This has a very slow time to kill at 270 milliseconds. This is one of the slowest time to kills in the game, and this is if you are perfect. As I have said, you need to be with such a slow fire rate, which it's not easy to do, especially if they get up in your face. You need to keep distance between you and the enemy. Even at a distance where it is easier to use this weapon, you are still not at the advantage. Muzzle velocity is 600 meters per second, which is mediocre. Muzzle velocity when suppressed is bad at 300 meters per second. The magazine size is actually good at 31 rounds. All other battle rifles have a 21 round mag capacity. The reload times are good, 2.05 seconds and 2.6 seconds when empty. These are fairly quick. You shouldn't have to worry about reloading. The recoil is strong though. 0.7 up, 0.2 left, 0.2 right. This is actually a little bit less than other battle rifles, but to put this in comparison, still more than assault rifles. The AKM has a 0.6 recoil upward. This recoil is more than the AKM. Lots of recoil with a slow rate of fire. Not exactly favorable at range, up close, or really anywhere. The good news is that it recoils straight upward, 0.2 left, 0.2 right, these cancel each other out. The first shot multiplier is not a lot at 1.1, but again, when it recoils upward so much, it might as well have a first shot multiplier more than that. Thankfully it doesn't, because you need to tap fire this gun, and if it had a higher first shot multiplier, you would be shooting straight into the sky. The h car can take full advantage of all attachments in the game. For optics, this is up to your own personal preference. I prefer the Cobra dot sight, but you can easily get away with using an ACOG on this weapon, as it does work better at range than up close. For accessory, really nothing here works at all. Not even the laser sight. This gun is terrible from the hip. I do not recommend hip firing, and the laser sight is just going to give away your position at range, so I recommend not using anything here. If you're using an ACOG, I can see using a canted iron sight, but other than that, I would just put nothing on this accessory slot. For the muzzle attachment, you can use all of these to great effect. The muzzle brake end compensator helps reduce recoil, which this gun needs. A flash hider reduces the flash. A heavy barrel helps this gun at range, which you should be shooting at range anyway, kind of using it like a wannabe DMR of sorts. Or a suppressor, which actually helps this gun a lot. Now you wouldn't think that the suppressor would help the H-car that much, but it really does. And the reason it helps the H-car a lot is because the H-car has a very distinguishable sound. The moment you start shooting it, everyone on the entire map knows exactly where you are. They don't need to see the minimap, the audio cues are more than enough. The suppressor obviously gets rid of this problem, and will also help you get the drop on other people, and let's face it, this gun is absolutely terrible, so you will need the drop on someone else, otherwise you most likely are not going to win that firefight. As for the grip attachment, this is a no-brainer, you should always be running with the angled grip. This gun has high recoil, and you are going to be tap firing it with its slow rate of fire, so every single shot will essentially be first shot recoil, so you have no reason to use anything else. To recap, I don't understand the point of this weapon. It is arguably the worst gun in the entire game. I would rather use the M45 and the Uzi than this gun. At least then I could hip fire or get the drop on people or use a suppressor more effectively. This gun has the same max damage and minimum damage and drop off start and drop off end as all other battle rifles in the game, but with a terrible 450 rounds per minute fire rate. So why would I use this? What is the point? It is literally handicapping yourself by using this weapon. The only reason you should want to use this gun is to make yourself pissed off. That's the only thing that's going to happen. 
and very similar things can be said about the DMRs in this game. I believe that the DMRs and the H car should take 2 to 3 shots to kill instead of 3 to 4 shots. I don't understand why the DMRs were perfectly fine in Battlefield 3, but suddenly they're classified as overpowered if they were 2 shot weapons in Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline. They need a buff, really bad. But until they get one, which I doubt they ever will, the DMRs and this gun will continue being a complete pile of trash. And as I have said, in my opinion, this is the worst gun in the game. I hate it with every fiber of my being. This thing makes me so angry trying to use. It is not fun. Just stick to using the SA-58 and the SCAR, you will have a much, much more fun time playing this game. So that sums up my gun guide of the useless, terrible H-Car. Hope you have enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Well, I got that out. Throwing incendiary! Hit one! Oh, oh, Snipers! Got that one. Someone finally got me. Flash out jackal. Holy crap, the explosion. Was up on the roof, too. Wow, you should not be alive. No, you do not. Oh shit, there's another guy there. Couldn't see him through my own fire. <laughs> Just dragon problems.